Hello friends, welcome to Shri Nitral. In this video, I am going to show you cases of plastic flap complications due to a flap stry. There can be a micro stry or macro stry in the plastic flaps. In this video, you are seeing now a retro elimination image of plastic flap showing folds in the flap and a cotton fiber there. You can see this small video where you can easily demonstrate the folds in the flap. So retro elimination image on auto ref machine is one of the very important tool to diagnose the elastic flap crush try. This is the second case where patient was treated and was having glare and halos and photophobia. Similarly, elastic flap try were noted on the slit lamp examination. And the same can be demonstrated on a topography Myers, on a Placido disc topographer. These images make conf So these cases can be taken in the OR and as I have lifted the flap with slowly multiple pass technique or at least three pass have to be made to lift this flap you can note the flaps try on the plastic flaps these flaps cannot go only with the contact lens and ironing step one if you note these flaps on day one you can do ironing and use a contact lens as a pressure over it and they will get settled but if you leave this flap for longer duration you need sutures to be used so i usually use if the flap is folded or having stry for more than 48 hours so i'm using my suture locations very carefully to remove the pressure on the flap I am selecting the location of my sutures very carefully to relieve the strain and the stry on the flap. Once this is done, you may need 2 to 3 sutures. Once this is done, the contact lens may be applied and flap can be healed left and flap can be left behind to heal for next 2 to 3 days. The third case is more tough. You can see the flap is totally folded and dislodged from its location. Flap looks slightly edematous, the hinge is very small and there is epithelium growing inside the ablation area. This area has to be cleaned very carefully as this can cause epithelial ingrowth. You can use low concentration mitomycin betadine to clean this area. In this case, I have not used any chemical to prevent epithelial ingrowth, and I have used tight sutures to prevent epithelium from growing in and I have removed all the epithelium from the edge area so that it will not grow inside. Once this is done, the flap is placed back to its position. It was quite edematous. These kind of flaps are very high, uh, carries a very high risk of infection. So you have to be very careful and avoid any malhandling of these flaps. Once all this is done, at least three sutures has to be applied. One on the temporal side opposite to the hinge to make flap tight and two more on inferotemporal and infer superotemporal areas so that flap will remain stretched and have a regular smooth bed. I could achieve good results in all three cases. You can note I am making the tie of these sutures very carefully only two knots and that too has to be buried on the opposite side where flap is not there while removing these sutures you should not have not coming out of your flap as that can lift the flap above you can see the post-op results of a second case where cornea appears crystal clear and patient don't have any issues with vision, glare, halos. Thank you.
so i found two instruments very useful that is a placido based topographer and ar machine on retro illumination mode is very useful to diagnose and manage these flaps comfortably thank you good day